Did you ever need to get a screen grab that was larger than the resolution of your screen? I've recently had this issue. I was putting together some stuff that I needed to print, but I wanted to do it off of my monitor. I have a 2K monitor and it wasn't working out because the largest I could get was 2K, I thought. So I went ahead and looked into it and it turns out that you can actually get a screen grab that's larger. You gotta do a few little tricks and that's what I'm gonna show you today. So. First of all, I have an NVIDIA graphics card. And if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, it's very easy to do. I'll show you how to do it. I'm not sure how it works for the AMD graphics cards, although I have read that it's possible on the AMD graphics cards as well. Just getting that out there. So the first thing you have to do is go to your NVIDIA control panel. So just right click in your uh, desktop and go to the NVIDIA control panel. It'll pop up here and you'll see there's this manage 3D settings. So you just wanna click on manage 3D settings and then uh, if you go a little down, you'll see this DSR factor. I have already changed this to four times the native resolution. Uh, if you want it, it initially it's at, it's off, so you just would unclick that, say OK, and then you're going to get this little apply button that comes up right here, and you have to hit apply. So basically, this is what it will look like. You'll want to go like this, change it to four, hit OK, and then hit apply. Now, since I've already done all that, I don't need to change anything. I'm just going to hit cancel. Okay, so once you hit cancel, it will close that. You close this window, and then you need to right click again in your desktop and go to display settings. Uh, let me adjust this so it could fit here. So, what you'll see is that <laughs> I've got my, it messed with my uh, monitor placements. So, you'll see this number one monitor. That's my 2K monitor, but I already have it set at the highest resolution that is four times the 2K. So normally it's at this one, but now we're getting this right here. So that's great. All right, so uh, you want that on, and then once you click that on, you can just turn this off. And now if you screen capture, you'll actually be getting four times what you originally had. <clears throat> so I'll show a little trick here. Let me go ahead and open Photoshop. And it'll be a little bit off to the side because uh, I'm only capturing a 2K area. I didn't want to try to capture 5K, uh, just thought that would probably be a bad idea. But let me go ahead and make an adjustment here so we can see this within the window. All right, so we got Photoshop here, and I'm going to go ahead and then do a uh, snipping tool, and I'll snip my entire screen. You'll only see a part of that, uh, and then I'll hit Copy, okay, and then I'll minimize this. Now, if I come into Create New, you can see right here my clipboard is saying that it's got that same resolution. So I go ahead and hit that, hit create. That create button is below the uh, screen there, but I'll hit control V and I'll paste it in and there you go. That's what I was looking at. All right, so that's one way to do it, but if you bring up your image settings or your image size, you'll see that the resolution is only 72, which is okay. It should be fine if you want to print that. Uh, but if you use NVIDIA and you have the GeForce experience, you can actually go ahead and hold Control, Alt, and Shift, and then hit End, and it will do a screen grab of uh, whatever screen you're on. And then if I go ahead and make a new document now, so Control N. All right, so it says clipboard is still at 72, but I'm gonna create that. Um, actually, I'm not sure that it picked it up. So I'm, let me go file open. I have this set already to go to the, uh, the files where my uh, screenshot saved. So this is my desktop screenshot that I just made. And you can see it, it saves out a PNG and if you open it, and then you look at your image size, you'll see that the resolution is 120. So it's a little bit better. If you, if you want to get a little bit better resolution, you can use the GeForce Experience. So I'm not sure how it gets a higher resolution, but it does. Now, let me just prove to you that this is good for print. So we'll go into print here, and you can see I've got, you know, we can go ahead and just, uh, we can do 11 by 17, that's fine. Create 11 by 17. I'll take this screen capture off here and then I'll just drag it into this window. And let me close that. So if I drag this in here and just do a little rotation here, you can see that that is actually uh, at a 300 resolution that's doing just fine. So it's a good little way to go ahead and get a higher resolution, especially if you're making stuff for print. And uh, one thing I would say though, 
uh, is that don't leave it on. I wouldn't leave it on all the time. There's no reason to have this on all the time. So once you're done using it, I would go ahead and just, you know, go back to doing the normal um, settings. So just go back to your NVIDIA panel and turn the four times off and then it will, everything will go back to normal. So I, I'm sure it probably taxes the graphics card pretty heavily. So you don't really need that happening all the time if you don't need it. Hey, thanks for watching this video. This is Dan Triplett from the 3D Trip channel. And come again. There'll be more tutorials soon. Thanks a lot. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I gave you so much information. It's, I'm, I'm a bad person. I feel bad. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed of myself. See you on the next 3D trip.